hi guys thanks so much for clicking on this video welcome back to my channel if you're new here and you find something beneficial in this video please definitely consider subscribing we'd love to have you here hit the uh, bell notification and uh, I wanted to also announce that as of right now hopefully not much longer we're only three subscribers away from me giving away my 500 subscriber um, Michael Kors uh, kind of like a pencil pouch tote bag um, and it's stuffed full of vintage goodies as soon as I hit 500 I'll make a video show you guys what I stuffed in it and give that away to somebody so um, without further ado today's video I am talking about how I clean and refinish re um, rehabilitate thrifted designer mainly leather goods uh, purses wallets things like that that I find because I really like designer goods. I like them at a cheap price, okay? Uh, more often than not, I'm trying to find it used from someone secondhand in a way that um, I'll be able to clean it up and use it for myself because, you know, really high quality, um, leather goods or high quality accessories the life doesn't end as soon as someone is done with it if they're not you know wanting to pass it on to their family or keep it in the family then a lot of times they sell the products um, for one reason or another they end up sometimes even in thrift stores so um, I have a couple things that I want to go over with you guys about the products that I use and how I clean those um, leather goods and accessories so number one most important thing is always if you're gonna buy an item and it looks trashed it looks destroyed you can even Google like trashed Louis Vuitton on eBay and purses come up that uh, the average person would feel like they were absolutely trash. If you are going to buy a product, if it is slightly dirty all the way to trashed, buy it knowing, buy it with the intent that the stains will never come out, that um, the tears will never be stitched, okay? If you buy it and you see it and you think, yes, I am willing to pay this price for this condition item, you won't be disappointed. I have picked up um, goods before for three dollars and um, think I could probably rehab that but I'm not sure but for three dollars I'm willing to take a chance if it never looks any better than it does right now it was worth three dollars I've also picked up items um, for fifty dollars my last uh, haul video I showed you guys my Gucci wallet that I just bought it was fifty dollars it was still worth the fifty dollars to me if I never got it any cleaner than it was when I bought it so please if you're gonna buy these um, leather goods or high-end accessories used uh, damaged stained buy them knowing that the stain may never come out and then anything that comes out is gonna be a happy surprise right or you know whatever your threshold is that you're willing to maybe even you know kind of throw away please you know be good stewards of your money but uh, for instance, one coach bag that I bought, um, I thrifted it at a Goodwill outlet and I paid $3 for it. I wasn't able to get it totally clean, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing with that. So number two is um, my tip and advice is to mind your materials. You have to, have to, have to know the difference between um, a treated coated canvas. This is coated canvas. This is not, this is not leather. This is a old uh, Gucci bag from the 70s. I have a video where I hauled this from eBay for $14.99. Um, it hopefully looks a little, little better than it did in the previous video. This is not leather. This is coated canvas. You need to know the difference in that and my new Gucci wallet that I just hauled on my most recent video. I hope that this is looking nicer than it did in the video as well. There's still some stains and things, but this is embossed leather, okay? You need to know the difference between those two things. You need to know the difference in that and um, a leather that is unlined, that you can uh, visibly see the suede on the inside. Mind your materials, know the difference. Um, and understand different types of leather. Like I said, that's an unlined leather. Um, you might get a newer bag that uh, had like a satin lining on the inside of the bag. The thing, the way that you can clean an unlined leather bag is not the same way that you would clean a bag that's lined in satin or some type of material maybe that you don't want to get wet. Um, number four, uh, determine what's a stain and what's damage. I'm going to go back to the Gucci wallet again. You'll see on the back here, this looks from a distance, it might look dirty. But on closer inspection, I hope that you can see that that's actually damaged. That's actually where the coating on the leather here, it's almost like a paint-like, has come off. I could scrub this as long as I would want to scrub it. I could scrub this for, for days. Sorry, the manicure, but <laughs> not a video on nails now, is it? Um, but the... Uh, the leather is damaged there. There's a big difference in a stain and um, and damage. You you could scrub this so hard that you actually create more damage. Be able to look at it and see on the corners here. 
the leather is actually peeled there. The, the enamel coating is actually off of there. That's not a stain. I could, I could scrub that forever. You have to know the difference in a stain and damage, okay? And um, mind your metals. In determining whether or not you can soak a bag, because I am going to get into some bags that you can actually soak, um, can you soak the metal? The last thing you want to do is rehab a beautiful bag and you have created the metal, um, created rust on the metal. Or, you know, just totally disregard the fact that you're using an abrasive cleaner next to a precious metal or something. Um, just be mindful of the fact that these bags do have like this um, vintage Gucci from the 70s has the cleanest little zipper. It is just... It's so smooth, and I don't want to mess this zipper up, okay? You can see how clean the inside of this bag is, and I've got some things in there I want to talk to you guys about also. So let's just get into, um, now that you know those those basics, how I actually clean these bags. Okay, I'm going to start with this bag. This is a coach bag from probably the 90s. It's a tiny little crossbody. You can see what the leather is supposed to look like. It's supposed to have a little bit of sheen to it. But I got this bag. It was nearly black. I paid $3 for it, which I thought was a bit much for what it was. But I knew what it could be. You can see all the discoloration on the front of it. It didn't come off. Um, so I have a different idea for this bag. I'm actually going to go in. I bought these little charms. They're little letters. Kate Spade kind of does this where you can uh, personalize your bag or monogram your bag. And I'm going to spell out coach on the bag here. All right. I want to make it look uh, kind of rock and roll, so to speak. I got these push pins also, 86 cents at Hobby Lobby. Some of these push pins will go in this bag. I got some faux suede cord in black and in red. And the red almost matches perfectly. I got this at Walmart and I'm going to put a fringe detail around this. So once I have all the pins on this bag, it'll say coat, it's gonna have fringe details on it. Totally worth the $3 plus $2 plus 86 cents. So I'll have around $5 in a very unique bag then. Um, I bought this bag originally with the intent of rehabbing it and selling it. I probably won't be selling it unless someone just has incredible interest in, um, you know, such a unique bag. But um, I think it's a beautiful bag. It's unlined leather with really high quality hardware. If you find a vintage coach that is unlined like this, let me tell you the best way to clean it. And that would be how I cleaned this station bag. When I got this bag, it was pretty dirty, but overall in, in really good condition. If you have a bag that is unlined leather like this, dish soap, okay, if they can use Dawn for um, oily ducks and it doesn't hurt them. It's not going to hurt this unlined leather. Now if this had a satin lining or something to it, I would be much more cautious um, about using this. But I literally filled my kitchen sink with hot soapy water and submerged this bag. And I left it there for hours. Like hours in the water. Um, I scrubbed it by hand. I did the red one the same way. It went from almost black to this color, but the leather just it, the sheen was never going to come back to it is why this bag isn't so salvageable um the sheen came back to this once i i left it there for probably at least three hours three six hours um the water was dark it was dirty i rinsed this bag i, I drained the water i rinsed it until the water ran clear. Okay, no more soap on the bag. You don't want soapy residue on it. And then I stuffed it with, I used my dish towels. You could use paper towels or whatever, but I didn't want any residue since this is an unlined leather. I didn't want paper towel residue or anything. I stuffed it with dish towels in every single little compartment that was in here. I stuffed it here to help this bag maintain its shape while it dried. Um, I dried this bag upside down so that I have some change and stuff in there now. I actually use this bag. I love this bag. I gave my sister one like this in brown. Um, but this bag set upside down, stuffed full of dish towels, and it is so soft after cleaning it with dishwashing liquid and hot soapy water. Um, I cleaned the, the hang tag. All of this hardware was cleaned. I scrubbed all of this by hand. If it's unlined leather, hot soapy water, and a hand wash, it doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Um, so this bag you saw in my haul video, I have not totally reshaped this bag yet. You can see like it was obviously stored with something on top of it. It flattened out this part also. But if you saw this bag before, there was a, a nasty little green stain on here. 
which I used a magic eraser for. This is a coated canvas, like a coated cotton. I wasn't even, I didn't even begin to be scared about using this on this coated. Um, it cleaned it up. It cleaned it up really well. This is, like I say, Gucci from the 70s. Um, inside, I had no work to do in here because it is so clean. Now, um, this little hang tag that says Gucci, um, it was here on the front and it's obviously more important that I have a, a zipper here. So I removed it from here, used some little um, pliers and pinched it onto here. Um, it has the zipper pull on the inside here, but there's no zipper pull here. So I have ordered a little bumblebee um, rhinestone pin that I want to put on here because obviously with the bees, you know, Gucci, I could order a, a vintage Gucci tag or something. Um, they start at like $20, $25. You can pay $30 and then they just go up from there for keychains or zipper pulls. I only pay $15 for this bag. I'm not interested in paying more for the zipper pull. So I also did get, you can see this in one of my Dollar Tree hauls. Um, I got this keychain and it has these little leather tassels on it. This one was in red. It has a pink one. It has a white one. So I'm thinking that I could attach, I'm thinking I could throw this in the floor. I'm thinking I could attach this to the front here and wouldn't that make such a nice little zipper pull? So I've got to get some tin snips out, attach this, and then I'll have my vintage Gucci crossbody with the little tassel. And then when the bee comes in, I may attach him on there also. But um, so for cleaning this bag, Magic Eraser was my absolute best friend. And um, I used these Magic Leather Wipes for all of the leather trim. I got these at Ross. It looks like the original Ross price was $349. They were on sale for $249. It says it's three in one cleans, protects um, conditions, handbags, furniture, shoes, just about whatever you want to use, magic leather wipes. So um, yeah, I've been using these, 30 wipes in here. They come in these little sheets. They're very oily. Um, they definitely do condition the leather. If you have dried out leather, you can use leather wipe um, cleaner like this. Almost anything I would say that you could use um, on like a car interior because you know, people don't want to destroy their car interiors. They made to be gentle. Um, that is definitely for car interior, furniture, shoes, purses, like I say. But um, I cleaned all the little leather pieces with that. I also have this little, this is actually an optical wipe. You know, it's for um, glasses. But you can use this on any of the hardware to shine it up. Um, which brings me to my next bag. See how shiny that just automatically makes it so much shinier there's some tarnish on there but it's okay it's a bag from the 70s I, I expect a little bit of wear on it um the next bag being the wallet that I hauled the other day and I showed you guys how bad the tarnish was on this whenever I hauled it and you can see how much better it looks now this bag looks tremendously better than it did when I first hauled it now, some of the areas when I cleaned them, they just kept getting darker. If you're cleaning a leather bag and the area that you're cleaning is getting darker and, and this is still not dry, it's probably a good indicator that it's not a stain, it's damage. Going back to knowing the difference between a stain and damage. If it's getting darker the more you're cleaning it, especially with something wet, then it's getting darker because it's wet because that's the raw exposed leather. Okay, so that's, that's a good sign that that's damage, that's not a stain. Um, but do you remember what the inside of this wallet looked like? Look at it now. It's not perfect by any means, by any stretch of the imagination, but look how many of these lines I was able to get off. I used these leather wipes and used them and scrubbed and scrubbed. And while I was kind of happy about some of the spots that it got off and it conditioned the leather and made it so beautiful, I was kind of bummed out because every one of those lines was still on there. Every stain was still on there. So here's what I did, and you're not going to believe this because, you know, you can pay quite a bit of money for a Gucci wallet. My husband suggested this, and I, was, I kind of thought he was insane in the membrane. He's a little crazy, but um, I cut off the tiniest little piece of this magic eraser. Not this one, but a different one. And I opened up a spot that was very inconspicuous that you wouldn't be able to see. I think it was inside this pocket. And I started with that tiny little piece and I scrubbed it. And it wasn't, because what I was worried about was that the color of this leather was going to start to come off or peel off. And it didn't. It was actually cleaning it. So I set out with a tiny, I snipped off a little piece of magic eraser, wet it, rinse out the extra, and I just started scrubbing those lines that were all over this. It was so stained with lines from having been folded up. It was just stained. You see this one is still there. That's because again, this is damaged. This isn't a stain. This is actually where the leather has 
peeled there. So if you saw the video, if you didn't see it, go back and see what this wallet looked like before. It, it didn't look anywhere near this this good. Um, for the hardware here, I actually uh, rubbed it with one of these leather wipes and it started to shine it up immediately. There's oils and things in there. I have um, polished it up with the optical wipe and gotten it um, to a much better space. But again, all of this is damage. So there's very little that I'm gonna be able to do about the damage, but any of the dirt or debris that was on this wallet is totally gone, thanks to the magic eraser, getting the stains out of the inside of it. Sorry, I keep moving around so much, I'm messing with the lighting. The magic eraser got the stains out of the inside. Um, as soon as I put that magic eraser on it and started scrubbing, if you have not used these very much, they scratch and they dry. And so as soon as I did it, I took a dry cloth, wiped it off, went in with one of these magic um, leather wipes and started to rub it. So it was this in my kitchen with this tiny little piece of magic eraser, scrub, 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 dry it off, take a leather wipe and then recondition that leather to make it soft again. Because when you're taking out so much of the moisture with any of these products, if you're, you know, this is fighting oil, so you're fighting oil on the leather also. Anytime that you're taking out so much of the moisture out of these leather goods, you need to dry off the product that you're using, go in with a leather wipe or some type of a leather condition and just start um, start putting that moisture back in there. Now with the vintage coach bag, the Will, uh, it's not a Willis, but the station bag that I um, soaked in dawn in my sink full of hot soapy water i actually took oil like um olive oil and put it on my hands and rubbed this bag like massaged olive oil into this bag you can clean leather with olive oil um, and vinegar basically almost making a salad dressing if you find thrifted leather and it stinks it smells like um like cigarette smoke, like it's been stored, anything like that. I got a vintage leather couch from 1952. Did not stink until I brought it home and it was in the small space and all of a sudden I realized, oh, these folks were smokers and it smelled so bad. Um, I took uh, vinegar and olive oil all over that couch for a long time. It took a long time because it was a couch. Something like this, it's going to be, you know, 20 minutes or something that you're going to massage that in there. Um, it does not smell like vinegar afterwards. I didn't take vinegar to this bag. Uh, there was no smell, but I massaged it with olive oil. So please keep in mind, anytime that you're using any of these cleaners on your bags, replenish the moisture. You know, all of these leathers are natural materials. Picture it like your skin. You know, it is an animal skin. Um, when you deplete it of so much moisture, you have to put that moisture back in there, okay? Um, now, I am in no way, shape, or form suggesting that you actually take a magic eraser to vintage or um, secondhand Gucci products or your Louis Vuitton or anything like that. I am not suggesting that you take one of these and just go hog wild. This is what works for me, though. Um, if I had messed up this bag, it needs to be at a price that you're comfortable with if you accidentally trash it or keep it like it is. Um, would this bag had still or while it still functioned with the lines on it? Absolutely. But it looks so much better having taken the magic eraser to it and gotten that off. So um, I hope that this sheds some light on some of the products that I use. Again, um, you can use a baby wash or I would suggest Dawn um, dishwashing detergent because both of those are super, super soft. You could try to use a shampoo, but I feel like a shampoo for an adult is going to have a lot more stripping agents. I mean, think about it. You get that in your eyes and it burns. Not that Dawn wouldn't. I don't know. I never got Dawn in my eyes. Um, a magic eraser. They're called magic for a reason, guys, especially on uh, like a coated canvas or coated, you know, weather treated cotton or anything like that. A good leather cleaner, leather wipes, um, some type of a liquid, um, an optical wipe for, or you could use a jewelry cloth um, to clean up any of the hardware, hot soapy water, a dry towel to get those chemicals off. Don't be afraid. What's the worst that's going to happen? You might take a trashed bag that you got at an amazing price and destroy it. 
that does sound pretty bad when I say it like that. You might take a bag that's already trashed and what, what are you going to do, make it worse? My dad has a philosophy. Um, anytime I've ever worked on any kind of small engine, um, car engine, anything like that, he always tells me it's broke. You can't break it. Like, just dive in. Try something, okay? Try it in an inconspicuous area. Comment below what you use to treat your um, leather goods, any type of vintage products that you thrift and and rehab those to their natural beauty. I would wear any one of these purses out in the condition that they are. Um, but, you know, I probably would have worn them out in the condition that they were. <laughs> So let me know what you think. Um, comment below. Definitely, like I say, like this video if you like this video. And if you are interested in, in more videos like this, please subscribe. God bless you guys.